year, just days away from the 18th annual Kansas City Fringe Festival. I didn't know it was 16 days long, and the event brings audiences and adventurous artists from all over the world together, celebrating arts and culture. And right now, we are joined by one of the performers. He is comedian Jamie Campbell. He's from our area. And uh, is this your first time at French Fest? It, it is not. I was here in 2017 okay. with kind of a, uh, an emotional roller coaster of a show. Uh, and I'm in such a positive place right now that uh, this is going to be a, a different vibe for audiences. It's going to be just a joy-filled evening of positive comedy. Yes. Okay. So what can we expect? What's going to be different this year than what we saw in 2017? Well, my show is called Big Dad Energy, but here's the catch. I'm not a dad. <laughs> oh. People look at me like they assume. Every time I go to get my hair cut, right. they're like, tell me about your children. And I'm like, well, they are non-existent. <laughs> uh, I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. <laughs> But the thing is, like, when you hit your 40s, you have all of these lessons that you've learned, you know, a lifetime of experiences, and you don't want that knowledge to go to waste. And if I had kids, I'd, I'd be able to pass it on to them. Sure. But I don't, and I've got all this big dad energy flowing so through me. So you have me. to tell someone about it. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to burn it off at the Fringe Festival. Okay. Yeah. So where do you get your material? What's it like? Give us an example of what, you're, what you talk about. I, mean, I, I talk about life. You know, one thing that I, I think is part of the dad energy that I have is I am proud of this younger generation. I think that they are changing the conversation around things like mental health. Mm -hmm. you know, they're making it like, now it's okay to go to therapy? My generation was not about to go to sure. therapy. You know, we were repressed. Instead of going to therapy, my generation invented mosh pits. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Well, these kids are doing the work, and I, I think that this younger generation is actually going to make the world a better place. I truly believe that. And my show is all about positivity. I'm going to tell the audience why I'm proud of them, tell them some old-fashioned dad stories. Like, I was a kid uh, back when they were allowed to paddle students in school. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that and how we used to fear the paddle. Yeah, so that's what you mean by that big dad in energy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it pulsing toward me I right can. Now. It's coming. Uh, well, and I'm old enough to remember at, at the principal's office, there was a uh, there was a paddle. It was probably that big. Yes. It had tape on it, and it had holes in it so that you could swing it faster through the air. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it was called this. It was called the swinger. So did you spend a swinger. lot of time in the yeah. principal's office then? Uh, no, I was actually, I, I did not want to get swatted by that thing. I'd heard a couple of kids who had been swatted, and it did not feel good. Yeah. I bet there were some confused parents when they heard that there was a swinger in the principal's yeah, office. Yeah, I bet there was. <laughs> but you're from Kansas City, so what do you love about performing in your home city? Uh, this city is the, I've, I've toured all over the country, and there is no place like Kansas City. Mm -hmm. It's got that combination of warm, friendly kindness, um, and, and also all of the things that you want from a big city. This is a city that shows up for itself you know mm -hmm. it's proud of what it has not just the way we support our sports teams but the arts community here is incredible and that's why i'm premiering this show here because the audience in kc based on how they react that's going to determine how this show tours all over the country that's awesome well let's get some information on that uh if folks would like to come see you at fringe festival and then as your tour goes on where can they find information about you absolutely for me just visit jamiecampbellcomedy.com and, and there's a performance tab and it's got links to all of my show performances at the Fringe Festival and other shows. But for the Fringe Festival itself, go to kcfringe.org. And even if I'm not your bag, there is something for you. This festival is art without limits. 350 artists, 57 different productions over 13 venues. You got to check it out, Kansas City. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank we will you. do it. Good to see you. Great to see Come you. Come back and see you. Yes. Yes. All right.